my name is Dr. Ruthie. You can call me Dr. Ruthie Stifter if you really want to. I'm a professional sexuality educator and I blog over at exploringintimacy.com. I'm also the author of The Nice Girl's Guide to Talking Dirty. But today I'm here thanks to the great folks at funwares.com answering your questions on sex and relationships. Here is a question that uh, came in to me through YouTube, but that is not the best way to send me a question. What you want to do is email me at askdrruthie, spelled with an I-E, at funwares.com, or tweet me at drruthie, D-R-R-U-T-H-I-E. So every now and then I do check the comments, and here came in this question. Is fisting yourself considered normal um, as a comment to the pro uh, safe prostate massage video? I am glad that you asked that question. Um, normally, I would say that a lot of people probably have this question. I think that a statistically fewer number of people have this question, but I think it is valid all the same. There was a little debate whether your question was a real question or not, but I believe in you and I think it is. So, um, that kind of answers your question a little bit to begin with, but there's a bigger answer to this question than just numbers. So when people ask me if something is normal, what they really want to know is, is their body okay and is there something wrong with them? Or is, are their desires or their sex practices okay or is there something wrong with them? Generally speaking, the vast, vast majority of the time, yes, your body is fine, your body is within that range that's considered normal, um, and your interests and your desires are okay. So um, that probably doesn't make any of you feel any better because now you're wondering if you're the exception. Um, so let's go into this because I think this is a really good example. Is it physically possible to fist yourself is probably what some listeners are thinking. For some people it is. Um, for some people, it's physically possible for them to give themselves oral sex, right? Um, for the vast majority of folks, it's probably not physically possible. It just requires too much flexibility and reach and angles and things like that, whether we're talking about fisting or giving yourself oral sex. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not okay. Just because the vast majority of folks can't physically make that happen or maybe aren't necessarily interested in it doesn't make it a problem. What we want to do is make sure that whatever you're doing is safe for yourself and anyone else who's involved. So if what you're interested in and the practices you like to do aren't hurting your body, aren't hurting anyone else's body, are something that you are capable of consenting to with a clear and mature mind, and it's something that everyone else is capable of consenting to with a clear and mature mind, then... Um, there's no reason. There's no reason for it to be considered a problem. Even if you're the only one on the planet who's doing it, although I have a secret for you, you are probably not the only one on the planet who's doing it. Um, or who's interested in doing it, of course, um, would be even more people. So is fisting yourself considered normal? You probably haven't met a lot of people who are physically capable. You probably have met more people who wish they were. And uh, it doesn't really matter anyway, because as long as you're being good to your body, it's okay. What does it mean to be good to your body when we're talking about fisting? Well, whether you're doing vaginal fisting or anal fisting, and I don't know your gender um, or your um, anatomy, and that, that's okay, I don't need to know, um, then uh, what we want to do is be using a whole lot of lubricant and be going very gently and slowly in with the hand, um, starting with lots of stimulation before our fisting even starts, working our way up very slowly and gently over time, perhaps over multiple sessions if you've never done it before, um, to larger and larger items, and then being very gentle with the hand. It shouldn't hurt. Of course, it's going to feel very, very intense, um, but it shouldn't feel painful. Taking it easy with yourself, being gentle with yourself, and remembering that at any point in time, if you just don't want to do it anymore, then don't do it. It's okay to not do it. Um, or it's okay to not do it today, and then change your mind later. All of those things are fine. Um, if for any reason someone in your life is pressuring you to do any kind of sexual activity, including these, then kick them to the curb, or call and report them, or whatever is the um, appropriate way to get them out of your life, because you don't need that crap. Um, so anyway, so you want to be really gentle, lots and lots of lubricant, and slowly working your way up so that you're not feeling pain, you're just feeling intensity that is positive for you. And if you can't seem to do it without pain, um, and doing it in that positive intensity sort of way, then, then don't do it, right? Everybody's body is different, has different capacities at different times in our life, um, so that is open as well. Um, when you're done, of course, you also want to be really careful with yourself. You want to make sure that um, the whole time that you are um, using clean hands, clean toys, I would suggest go ahead and wear a glove. 
um, even if you're just solo. And the reason for this is that it helps the lube last a lot longer and it makes your hand a lot slicker. So um, a clean, fresh, disposable glove that fits you well. Um, nitrile is real nice. Even if you're allergic to latex, it should work for you. It'll keep the lube in better shape. Also keeps your fingernails from causing issues. Um, so yeah, keep all those things in mind. And it, it doesn't matter if you're one of the the few and amazing who can go ahead and do this activity or whatever activity it is that's important to you but fits those criteria we talked about, then good for you. Have fun and make everyone else jealous. I'm Dr. Ruthie and I'll see you at the next video.